it's time for a to buy or not to buy video. You guys know how this goes. Honest mini reviews. Let's go. So first up, we have Fevicol's Shoe Fix. Okay, now you guys know I'm a big shoe fixer. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but I love to chip go my shoes. Like I don't really throw away my shoes when the sole comes apart or whatever. I'm a big fixer of things, okay, guys. And uh, I usually use like Fevi Quick, apna normal that super glue, the extra one which chip goes your hands also. Uh, but I saw this recently and I was like, hmm, let's try this because I always have shoes to chip go. So I tried this. Now how this works is actually you're supposed to basically take apart the two ends that you're going to use. Uh, put this on, uh, leave it like apart for about two to five minutes and then press it together and uh, it's supposed to be like but did that happen? So the thing is overall it's a more heavy duty glue than uh, very quick like it's thicker in consistency and all of that and I feel like the sole part is quite jammed but I don't feel like the uh, edges are getting done with this as you can see. I tried doing this twice the edges just didn't catch and I do feel like I'm gonna have to do a you know another round of Fevi Quick on the edges because Fevi Quick really is like I love how I'm doing this <laughs> every time but uh, the thing is you know if this really did the whole job like the edges the sole the everything I'd be like oh my god it's a game changer for shoes but I don't really know if you really need a specific shoe fixing glue like Fevi Quick fixes everything and chip goes everything including your hands as I said so um, I'm gonna say this is I guess a not to buy. Up next we have a new iron. So this is the new Philips uh, Easy Speed Plus 2200 watt. I, I love how technical it sounds but uh, I bought it uh, from Chroma randomly because my iron died and we bought two of these actually for both houses. So we have one here and we have one at our house as well and it is a fab fab iron you know. So earlier I had a chutter like a smaller iron which was really like not like great like it wouldn't really iron iron you know what I mean like there'd still be those like if you had something that was really uh, wrinkled it would just be like you'd see those halka creases everywhere like still with this guy you don't see that this is like laundry type ironing ironing um, and it works really well of course I have the whole steam iron and all you guys have seen that otherwise but um, this works really well in terms of as a house iron I mean I'm going to say you know what I mean like for everyday like saman and uh, it's heavier it's bigger but i feel like it's really good because when you do like iron that pressure the bulk of it really works well and i think it's a great iron it's about 3995 that's the official price but i feel like it's always on discount like i when i was researching right now for this also it was 2000 something on amazon so and i think we also bought it for cheaper at Roma. so there are always offers on i would definitely recommend this if you're in the market for a good iron i'm not uh, experienced star ironer but it still works well for me so if you are it'll be bad for you so for me to buy okay now this next one is not anything new and it's not really a product based review it's more of a service based review so it is Morphe Richards okay so I have a Morphe Richards microwave now this is not a new microwave it's an old microwave a fairly old microwave at that um, but what happened was you know like how a microwave door becomes thoda dila like little like you know hila hua that's what was happening with it microwave was working perfectly fine um so obviously i called the you know service center and i booked a consult with their technician to come and check the door and whatever he took the door back and he was like i'll fix it and bring it back um they took it they basically used very quick my favorite glue in the world and brought it back uh but it didn't seem like sturdy when he brought it back itself charged me i think over 2000 rupees just for that and i was like still like okay whatever you know fine um and i said this is not gonna last in two days it's gonna be loose again you know it's not gonna work and whatever and he said no no you call me if it doesn't work and all and as i said yeah in two days it was loose again because it was just stuck with super glue and not really fixed or repaired and he came back and took my door again and as he came to take my door to repair it and remove it the technician dropped the whole glass door and broke my microwave door and um, I was like 
you know now what's going to happen and obviously he's like okay we'll get you a replacement doll all of that all of that so i thought okay great you know it's fine it'll get sorted so it's been over a month and this is how my microwave looks i don't have a door i don't have any answers i keep calling them and they keep telling me oh it's out of stock because it's an old model we don't know what to do so i even offered that okay you know now if i have to buy a new one i'm happy to buy a new one if you take this in exchange and offer me a discount because you broke the door and now i'm forced to buy a new microwave because obviously i didn't have to buy a new microwave otherwise but there's just no response from them it's been over a month and i feel like this kind of customer service really puts you in a bad space and i would not want to buy another morphe richards product again now after seeing this right like i was like for no fault of mine no my microwaves it's gone i've been charged over 2000 rupees i am now i'm stuck with a microwave with no door so service based review not to buy okay up next is something i bought randomly on amazon okay so i this is an as seen on tv kind of situation i saw this a lot on my reels like it's called a hair blinger and i saw like people with these really pretty pretty crystal type things in their hair like in music festivals and all and i was like how are they doing that and then i realized there's a hair blinger type situation um this was really like affordable this was about 600 rupees i bought it off amazon uh there are many of course there are like the proper company walas which are like 2 3 grand also but i wouldn't like waste my money on that so yeah i have not used this but i thought i'd try it with you guys and do a live demo so let's go so it's this kind of a device which is like uh, a like this is called the blinger and there are already all the blingy pieces inside unfortunately the one i got has really ugly blingy pieces <laughs> i just wanted like plain white crystals but that didn't happen and i think i'm going to have to give this to like my teenage nieces because this is a very teeny bopper vibe but uh, now that we have it let's try it so basically you have to put your like hair into this and then you click and it's supposed to just like bling it okay ready okay so i'm just going to put this in here and try this let's see how it works I'm pressing but nothing is happening so like an unlock thing or lock thing or oh i think it needs batteries oh i need it needs batteries okay so i have loaded this with batteries and let's try for the second time is something happening Oh yes there's a crystal on my hair but i think i i like the section i've taken is too thick maybe i need to take like a thinner section possibly let's try one more oh yeah this is perfect i think it's perfectly caught on and let's try another one So it goes one way and then you got to wait for the second thing magic if you want to like wait I guess and then it joins I think it could be pretty cool if you do it like just randomly also right like I mean not like a proper you know structured approach bling in my hair out guys okay guys teenage cherry would be very happy with this if i had this like 25 years ago i'd be like oh my god i'm like bomb.com uh but yeah so if you have any teenage like uh, kids or um, if you're going to a music festival maybe you could like rock this like a full bling out situation i'm just really disappointed in the actual bling like i don't like the look of my crystals but like overall i'm very excited about the device like if it was just plain crystals i would like really love this and i would do like a really cool like kar 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 look, look, look like you know with lots of crystals uh you can actually buy more crystals and all that online also but these are reusable so you can actually take them off and this opens from here and you put them back in here so you can keep using the same device with the same crystal so if you have like um you know someone who wants to use this regularly i think it's obviously a great option for that like that and um yeah i mean i think it's pretty cool like for 600 bucks i think it's cute it's cool if you're into this look and um i like it i'm going to say dubai
So guys, those are all the products I'm reviewing today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any other products, services, anything you want me to review. I will try and try them for you. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Bling up my video with all your thumbs ups because I've done this for you, okay? I've blinged for you, you blinged for me. See you guys.